I'm Natalie Morris, and we're going to take a first look today at the new iRobot line of products. Now, iRobot are the robots that clean your floors. So they're little robotic vacuum cleaners. I love them. I use them at home all the time. This is Nancy Smith. She's with iRobot. Thank you for bringing by your little robot machine. My pleasure. Uh, so you have a new line of scuba and a new line of Roomba. Now let's go over what each one of them do. The Roomba is a vacuum cleaner, so it's not going to pick up, it's not going to scrub your floors at all. It's just going to pick up, we have a little mess here, and it does seem like an organized mess, but we did kind of grind them into the carpet so we can really put it, it to the test. Um, because this is not for organized messes, right? This is for real life messes. That's right. The whole idea behind our robots, they work in real life situations. So put it down in your home, push a button and let it go, and it figures it out. The next so you can pick it up and bring it to your neighbor's house if you're real nice. Put it down in their house and it'll work there great too. So it's going to work real life situations in your home, cleaning up whatever you're putting down. Okay, so we've got some Cheerios here. It's funny that you're encouraging sharing, that you buy one for the whole neighborhood, right? It's the only robot you bring out at a dinner party. You know, so you'll, you'll be cleaning up beforehand, make a little mess so you can show people how your robot works. It's a crowd pleaser, let me tell you. And a cr Christmas gift that just keeps on giving. So, okay, let's put it to the test. We have Cheerios here. Um, it's the easiest system ever. It just uh, goes down and then looks for the dirt itself, right? Well, so what it does is it tries to figure out the size of the space, cleaning as it goes. We're doing a little Roomba soccer here because we have a mess. The robot doesn't see dirt in front of it, but it sees dirt underneath it. So there you go. That's good. It's going to go ahead and you'll see the path it's cleaning. It's going to clean around your shoe if you leave it there. It has sensors that can find edges and clean around edges. So right now it's finding some dirty area. I'll clean right over those Cheerios, both the crushed up and the hole, which is really nice. So it picks up large objects as well as small. Um, and the idea here is that the robot will clean an area, uh, your floor, three to five times before it's done. And then it will go back and charge itself and be ready to go again the next day. Okay, that's pretty amazing because it did, in fact, let's turn it off for a second. It did, in fact, pick up all the Cheerios and the debris. There's some that we really embedded into the carpet here with my stiletto shoe. Um, so it's going to need to come back and do that again, right? That's right. The whole idea is that it will get that area again and again. And so just like when you vacuum, you don't go over an area once. You need to cover it multiple times. And our robot will get it three to five times before it shuts itself off. Okay. One of the big things in my house especially is uh, hair. Because I shed a lot of hair, especially just having had a baby. You know that. Yeah. You, you uh, shed a lot of hair. So um, the hair gets wrapped around the bottom. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Let's, All right. Let's do. Okay. So the robot has these two counter-rotating brushes that pick up a lot of hair. And it's great because it actually pulls the hair out of the carpet. Um, so it does a great job picking it up. But in the past, sometimes the hair would actually wrap around too much. So you had to clean that up very frequently. Our new vacuum actually has an ability to pull some of that hair off. It's called AeroVac. And so it's pulling a lot of the hair off of the brushes and putting it back into the bin so that it, it cuts down on any wear and tear. People who've owned Roombas before have complained about that. And this is a great fix for the new version. Right. It, it tends to be a big pain in the butt. So <laughs> that now you can just capture all the hair in this plastic plastic thing, right? And then you just pull that out. That's right. There's a little uh, thing here, pulls out. And dump that in the trash. That's right. We also now have hepatite filtration on it, which was a new fe feature for the Roomba, uh, for the 700 series. Okay. And then tell me a little bit about the, the timer as well. Sure. This robot has the ability to be scheduled, so you can schedule it up to seven times. So you can have it go every day at noontime while you're at work, or you can have it at different times of the day if that works better for you. Um, and so it's very convenient. You don't even have to think about maintaining your floors. Okay. And then the same sensor technology where you can cordon off areas of your house. That is correct. There is, however, a new sensor in some of our 700 series. The higher ends have a new um, dirt detect sensor, which is very cool. Uh, the current one has a sensor that will detect fine particulate, so it actually hears the dirt. The new ones actually also have an optical sensor, so they can see dirt underneath it that might be lighter. So hair, like you were talking about. If you have a pet that sleeps in a certain area and there's a lot of hair there, you want the robot to spend more time there. So the new higher end 700 series will do that. Okay, and then you use these tiny little sensors to say don't go past this room, right? Correct. So they're called virtual walls and you can set them up and the robot will actually ping them and turn them on and won't go past them. Um, but it also also has its own sensors built in like natural sensors like cliffs. So it won't fall down stairs so you don't have to worry about blocking those off or anything. That's so great. Okay, very good. And when does this come out and how much can we expect it? Sure, those are coming out um, the end of this in, in the middle of Q1. So if you go online to irobot.com and you can be updated as to when those will be available. Um, and the price range is in uh, 450 and up okay. for this version. 
All right, it's an expensive gift, but let me tell you, if you hate washing floors and sweeping as much as I do, it's, it's an investment worth looking into. Um, okay, now let's talk about the new scuba. This is about half the size of the original scuba, so it's a lot smaller. Um, and again, I, I, I use this in my house, and one of the big complaints is that it, don't, it doesn't get into the corners of the house. So now it's smaller, for, made for corners? It is made for tight spaces, absolutely. One of the biggest um, comments we got back from people is they wanted it to clean their bathrooms. Nobody likes cleaning bathrooms. I don't like cleaning bathrooms. Right, who likes that? Yeah. Right, so um, the scuba in its original form was 13 inches in diameter, too big to fit around toilets and around pedestal sinks and things. And so this nice, small, compact shape allows it to get into those tight areas and do a great job cleaning. Okay, so let's go ahead and we put some coffee down, and I'm not sure if our cameras can pick up, but this is... Um, Blue Gatorade here could also be Windex. Uh, but you say that this is not for really recent spills. So I wouldn't spill my coffee and then send the scuba over. I would wipe it up with a paper towel and then send the scuba for the stains, That's right? Correct. And if you see the coffee stain was dried on and it just did a great job lifting it. And again, the idea here is that it does the multiple pass. We've always found that the longer the robot runs and it can actually leave a little bit of water behind that actually loosens up stains because there's water and cleaning solution. The great thing about these is that they're always putting down clean solution and water and picking up the dirty water so you're never washing with dirty water. Okay. Now uh, you, s you have, you suggest certain types of cleaning solution but you can also use vinegar, right? Um, on our traditional scubas you can use white vinegar which is great for hardwood floors, uh -huh. absolutely. Okay. Alright, and uh, tell us a little bit more about the, the bits and pieces underneath now that we've seen it clean up this coffee. Let, we'll turn it up sure. upside down. Yep. So, this robot is very easy to fill, which was another piece of feedback that we had. So it's just fill here and empty here. So there's a water containment system in here that gets larger. The clean water gets filled up, and as it's picking up dirty water, it's filling the empty space with the dirty water. So again, they never meet. On the bottom here, what we have is a plate that it uses to scrub the floor and then suck up the dirty water. This plate is removable and washable, which is very important in our testing, because if I use this in my bathroom, I don't want it to go in my kitchen. Yeah, so for <laughs> obvious gross reasons. So Yes, exactly. So the idea here that you can take these off, wash them, and reuse them, or you can switch them out as need be. Um, so that's very nice. It's very compact, as you saw. Um, and the wheels, this has a much lower threshold because it's not made to go on carpets. So you want to keep it on the hard surfaces. Anything sealed, it's great for. All right, and uh, you also mentioned that the battery life is longer for these as well. Correct. On the Roomba, the battery life has been increased by 50%. Um, and so the idea is that you can, one of the other uses people, we thought people were going to use it once a week when we first came out with them, but they're using them two to three times a week, sometimes seven days a week. Yeah. So the battery life, uh, with any rechargeable battery, we try to improve it all the time. So this actually will last longer. Okay, and we can see this again in Q1, and for how much? That's correct. For $299, um, this robot will be available on our website. Very good. Well, thank you very much. These are very fun little gadgets. I'm glad to have got to put them to the test.